second part of attacking uh, upper body into lower body. So we can actually start standing because a lot of people will find it hard to get the fight to the floor without pulling guard. So you're going to get head control. So what I'm going to do from here, I like to hold under this part of the arm. So when they try and do a snap down, they can't, okay? It sort of takes the power out of the arm. Then from here, I'm going to use this hand to punch this elbow up and get an overhook on this arm here, okay? So now I have the overhook, I can circle and use this. I'm gonna do the slight back step to break the posture down. And now I get chin strap. If you look, you can see the chin strap on this side. I'm now gonna circle the person down and a slight sprawl to get them onto all fours. Good. As soon as they step this leg, I'm coming over and then joining my hands for, for a cradle position. To finish this cradle, I'll push down on my elbow and up on this arm. So now look, I'm into this position. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release the head. But before I release the head, I'm just gonna move around towards the legs. I'm setting up my next attack. I let go of the head, they lean away. As they lean away, this foot slides in, foot onto the hip, I've gone from the head Back to the legs. I go into heel hook position, I slide in, elbow tight. You won't really finish the heel hook on many people from here because they're, not, they're gonna be able to rotate. So on the second spin I managed to finish. Now I can finish. I push this knee in this direction and I pull up on the heel. Like you're twisting paper or tearing paper, I'm taking the, the, the fire that direction with my fire. And I'm using my hands to rotate that way. And I get a nice finish on there. That's the second part of um, attacking the upper body to lower body. Cool.